Boxing fans, get ready to be shocked. The legendary Iron Mike Tyson has just dropped a bombshell prediction that's sending shockwaves through the boxing world. As we know, the mega fight between Terence Crawford and Israel Madrimov is seeing the light of day on the 3rd of August, which is only a couple of days away. This matchup has attracted reactions from many pros, and Mike Tyson's reaction shocked everyone the most. He believes Israel Madrimov has what it takes to dethrone the pound-for-pound -pound king, Terence Crawford. Can Madrimov really pull off the upset? Let's dive into Mike Tyson's explosive insights. In a recent interview, Mike Tyson didn't hold back when discussing the upcoming clash between Terence Crawford and Israel Madrimov. The former heavyweight champion, known for his uncanny ability to predict upsets, believes Madrimov possesses the tools to shock the world. But before we get on to what Mike Tyson said, first, let's talk about why he's favoring Israel over his good friend Bud. So we know Mike Tyson has got an exciting fight lined up in November against the YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul. There's a lot in the line for Mike Tyson. And so just know, even at the age he is right now, he's taking it very seriously. Different date, same fate. I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. Feeling the heat of the spotlight, Mike Tyson knew he needed to step up his game. He decided to spar with the legendary Terence Crawford, a move that could either make or break his comeback. Training alongside Crawford, Tyson had a sudden realization. So all of this, this is you know, too simple for like golf. When you like this, everything's there. That's how you get the power? Yeah. What is, it, what is it that you're doing there? You're really shifting your weight, yeah, right? Yeah, it's balance. Mike's realization had nothing to do with himself but Crawford. After going a couple of rounds with Crawford, he discovered so many weaknesses that a guy like Israel Madrimov can exploit on fight night. During their spar, Crawford was on the back foot. He was rarely engaging. You'd expect his defense to be sharp, but it was far from that. If a 60-year-old Mike Tyson could do that, then imagine what would Israel Madrimov do to him with millions of people watching. Crawford doesn't seem to be the same fighter we saw against Spence. This could be a whole new ball game, because you better believe Israel Madrimov is going to bring his everything into this fight. It's a life-changing opportunity for him, so he's going to be ready for sure. Yeah, he's saying it's very cool to be part of such a big event and that it's it's uh, everyone is talking about it so that's an opportunity for him to showcase his skills his style and uh, it's an opportunity for him to become a uh, celebrity you know in in the boxing world like uh, as one of the top guys not to mention this guy is in phenomenal shape now we know there's a saying muscles don't win fights but that doesn't mean they won't help either this guy looks strong enough to pose a real threat to Crawford in the ring and right now, this is Mike Tyson's biggest concern. And here's why. Mike Tyson once publicly said that Terence Crawford could beat anyone in the industry. However, after training with Bud, Mike can't help but look the other way. Tyson's confidence in Crawford winning is wavering. With each passing day, he sees more and more reasons to doubt Crawford's chances. And Mike is the type of guy who does not like to be wrong about anything, especially when it comes to boxing. I am, I say it's 50 /50. You don't think it's 50-50? 60-40, but you don't tell which one? You think Crawford can stop him? Tyson emphasized Madrimov's raw power and relentless aggression as key factors in his potential victory. He highlighted the Uzbek fighter's ability to overwhelm opponents with his relentless pressure and explosive combinations. Crawford needs solid defense and slick counters to deal with Israel's volume punching. But according to Mike, those two things were missing when he sparred with Bud. Let's take a look at what Mike Tyson said. 
Crawford is fast, real fast, and he's got a great chin, can take a punch. But he's a boxer. He's calculated. He's waiting for you to make a mistake. After giving Bud his flowers, Mike went straight to the point. Israel Madrimov, he's not like that. He's a wild card. He comes forward, pressure, pressure, pressure. He's got power, raw power. He's gonna force Crawford to fight a fight he doesn't want to fight. I think Madrimov's gonna put Crawford on his heels. Crawford's gonna have to fight off the ropes. And that's where Madrimov is dangerous. And Bud's defense isn't where it should be. Madrimov's got a real shot at pulling off the upset. So, what makes Israel Madrimov such a dangerous opponent for Terence Crawford? Let's break it down. Madrimov is a pure knockout artist. His punches carry incredible force, and he has a knack for timing his shots perfectly. With a record of nine wins and no loss, he's proven time and again that he can finish fights with devastating power. Another area where Madrimov excels is his body attack. He's a master at breaking down his opponents with relentless body shots, which can sap their strength and open them up for headshots. Even Bud agrees that this is going to be a tougher challenge than people think. What are your actual thoughts of Madrimov? I don't think he's a great fighter. He's a great fighter. He's tough. He's hungry. He's uh, adorable. He's athletic. Um, He's, he's got a lot of experience in the amateur uh, yeah. rankings, but uh, as you can see, he's a, 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 a champion with only 11 fights, so that tells a lot about his skills right now. But hey, Terrence Crawford is no pushover. He's a pound-for-pound -pound great with exceptional speed, skill, and boxing IQ. But even the best fighters can be vulnerable. Crawford is known for his defensive prowess and counterpunching ability. The two things Mike Tyson pointed out were missing during the spar. Against Madrimov's relentless pressure, Bud might find himself in unfamiliar territory. If Crawford can't impose his boxing skills early, Madrimov's power could become a major factor. Not to mention, Israel's got a great coach in his corner, Joel. This guy knows what's at stake and how much of a challenge Bud really is. He's not leaving any stone unturned in preparing Israel for this matchup. Preparing for a lefty and he switches righty, and that throws your whole plan away. But with us, what benefits us is this. Israel can switch lefty and righty just like Crawford. He dominates the southpaw stance just like if he was a right-hander, and he's very athletic. You know, he's very athletic, and we've been, we've been practicing for both lefty and righty, and we understand that it's not easy. We just got to be able, we just got to remember, stay focused, don't lose control. And if he, if Terrence Crawford, due to his high IQ, tries to smother you, stay composed. You know, him being the naturally big. Now, on the other hand, Crawford's trainers are trash talking. That's not a look good on Bud. Perhaps they're just that confidence in Bud's abilities. Or maybe they're overconfident. And if that's the case, then it's not going to end well for Crawford. The key to this fight might lie in a few X factors. Can Crawford adapt to Madrimov's aggressive style? Can Madrimov withstand Crawford's power punches? Both fighters are at the peak of their careers, and this matchup has all the ingredients for an epic showdown. So, who do you think will win? Can Israel Madrimov pull off the upset and dethrone Terence Crawford? Let us know your predictions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more boxing breakdowns and exclusive content. Hit that like button if you're excited for this fight and share this video with your boxing buddies.